YouTube, what's poppin', man? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And you haven't subscribed yet, so I might not see you again. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, man. Welcome back to the channel, man. This is your boy, Maul, man. And today, we're going to be talking about week two. Now, I just posted week one yesterday, man. I'm powering these videos, like I said. I should have been uploaded these, and my apologies for that, man. But we're going to get to it. So week two, from week one at BMT, pretty much, you're going you're gonna to up it a little bit, man. You know what I'm saying? It's going to get a little bit more uppity and stuff. You're going to start doing, like... At this point, you know how to do a left face. You know how to do a right face. You have already taken your first PT test, and you probably didn't do as good as you wanted to, and it's okay. It's okay, bro. You're going to get better. You're going to do that same routine every other day, bro, pretty much. You're going to PT six times a week, except for Sunday. You're going to PT, and unless you get, like, a wave or something like that, crazy. This is going to happen. And we're not talking about week one anymore. We're talking about week two. So a big thing for week two is definitely immunization. If you don't like shots, you're going to get shot. They're going to poke at your body a little bit. People pass out. It's crazy. And you be sitting there like, how do you pass out that little shot? But some people pass out. Some people bleed more profusely than other people. Um, they actually have a shot. It's called a peanut butter shot. Right? And the peanut butter shot is a shot basically in your ass. Now, I mean, I hate to say it like that, but that's what it is, man. It's, it's not that bad. It's not as bad as you think. It's a little pinch. You know, you hold a little rail. You feel a little violated. They give you a shot, you walk out. But, like, when you take your shots, when you're walking into the office, they have your flight, march up with the book bags and everything. Hut, two, three, four. Hut, two, three, four. You got it to that point yet. Yeah, or they left, right, left, right. You march, you haul it, empty out cover, do all that stuff. You go inside. They have you line up facing the wall, like, super duper close. I'm talking about close as possible, bro, to the wall. Like, you close. You, like, butt to butt. It's awkward. It's weird. And then... They get you to turn around. So now you're sitting there. They have a dorm sheet come up. They probably hand them the paper and they call everybody name, get the papers out for the immunization. And then they get started. They get you to take your shirt off. They give you gauze. You know, wipe your arm where you need to wipe it at or wherever you're getting the shot. You got you to wipe right there. So, you know, you can clean that area for the shot to be a little bit more, like, smooth. It's almost like a factory line. Because when you walk in that mother sucker, bro, they just in there. Boo -hoo, boo -hoo. It's quick, bro. It's not like, you know, dog be like, okay, count to five. One, two, three. Would you like a lollipop? No, it's literally boop, boop, next, boop, boop. But you gotta be like toe to toe behind the person in case people pass out. People do pass out. There's one person when I was there actually passed out and like something happened to his face. Not when I was physically in the building, no, but I was at DMT, of course. But he like messed up his face and he had to go a freaking med hole because of a freaking trainee not catching them man they don't never catch their boys and what else we got for week two week two also man this way you might end up starting doing details um and stuff like that and you can do details in your dorm for like the train crew cleaning up the dormitory like dusting dust down all that little stuff like that you know i can explain that in another video of course but i'm just giving you the gist of what's going to go on also you might get volunteer for something that's called k Pee. It's basically you working in the defect, going to the kitchen and working in there, man, washing dishes. You can wash pots and pans. I suggest when you get there, you don't do pots and pans, okay? The best thing you can do for yourself is try like a milk monitor or something like that. They can have you running around doing all that crazy stuff like that, too. And also, another big important thing at this point, you've been clipping strings, right? So you started clipping strings, but you know, as soon as you get a uniform, you're clipping strings. Clipping strings, clipping strings, clipping strings, right? Now it's time to see what work you put in. How good can you fold your shirts? How good can you roll your shirts? How good is the attention to detail when it comes to clipping strings? How good can you fold? Because they're looking at all that. Your first inspection is coming up. And I think you can get like like six demerits on the first inspection. You know what I'm saying? I never failed an inspection personally myself. And even my last one you know, got, got zero because, you know, your boy, you know, attention to detail as far as clipping strings stuff is pretty good. So just make sure you're clipping those strings, man. You literally pay attention to the small, fine, in tune details, bro. This is very important because this can also get you recycled. Because people have like 19 demerits, bro. And at that point, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, what the heck are you doing? Like, some days you have nothing to do but just clip the strings and read your BMTSG, bro. So you just definitely make sure you pay attention to detail when it comes to that. That's like one of the biggest things that's going to happen in week two. And also, 
the MTI is telling you that you they see a stream and you don't think it's a stream, do not argue with the MTI, okay? If you argue with the MTI, I'll tell you what's gonna happen. You ready? You gonna lose! Easy, you gonna lose. You can't win that argument. You can't win it, bro, All right? Cause they got power to really, again, you gonna keep hearing me saying this probably every video gets you in cycle. Alright, until you get on the bus, go to tech school, you can get the cycle at BMT. So stay smart. Make sure you pay attention to detail week two. Shots aren't that bad, man. You're still doing PT. It's a very similar routine to week one. Still doing all those things. You might get introduced to KP and stuff like that. But we're going to get on to bigger and better things starting Sunday when you go to services. And then you'll be in this week three. Now, with that all being said, man, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Like this video, man. Leave a big, big, big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that red button for the subscribe. And if you really want the videos to get notifications, give that bell a ring every now and then. You know what I'm saying? And without further ado, man, I'm all out.